Hi, I'm Werther Klaasens from Mantis. Today we are at the Kwasi Sabantu mission in KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. And with me is Dietmar Houston, who oversees the greenhouse operations. Dietmar, can you just tell us something about the mission and what you do? This place is called Kwasi Sabantu, not Kwa, in Zulu means place. Caesar is health and Bantu is people. So in short, the place where people are helped. When the mission was started, the Reverend always had the idea of being self-supporting. There was a small dairy at that time he started, then uh, a vegetable garden, which over the years then grew. Uh, then he started the greenhouse projects. The reason why we do it is that we, through all that is being done, that we educate and help people to help themselves. Okay, Dietmar, now we are at the back of your greenhouses. We're in between the Celtic. Why don't you just start by telling us what you have done in this area of your house? So we're standing in between two, he two, two hectare houses. So we have one hectare on this side. And the, the other hectare, hectare on, on that, that side. side. So you, you, you in actual fact, suck the air through the virus net, through your wet, uh, wet wall, through the greenhouse, and then out. Um, it's a very efficient system, I find, and um, most of your insects are kept outside through the virus net. You know, we have always will have insects right through the year. We have to take into consideration yeah, insects. That's why I think a forced, forced ventilation system like we've got is very, very uh, efficient and, and very good for our situation. And that's why we've kept going with it. When we started, we just had a, a forced ventilation and without just a virus net without the pad. And I, I never thought that pads would be uh, would be um, suitable for our area because of our high humidity, high rainfall. But over the years since we've started this, especially this uh, structure, this project, we found that uh, we actually use it much more than we ever thought we would. Especially when the plants are young, it's a much more softer climate inside. You can control the climate so much better by through only not increasing the humidity, but also bringing down the temperatures that uh, we can plant now in the summer because we've got screens and yes. then using a wet wall you can imagine we five to eight degrees cooler inside the house than outside so and, yeah and and now i think whatever we do again we would put up a, a, a wet wall we usually get here anything between 30 maximum maybe 35 degrees uh, for us here so take it down eight degrees so it's ideal that's a, for me it's a winning solution that's why We've kept with it, you know, your running costs are a bit higher, but through the way we've got it, you can control your climate inside much more. We plant right through the year, but going into summer, planting with nature, we have, we have already got up to 27 kgs per square meter, which is, I think, uh, very, very good. And how many hectares of greenhouse do you have right now? Uh, with forced ventilation, we've got uh, five, five and a half hectares. Okay. Uh, all four all, peppers. There are six hectares, sorry. All peppers. We're building an ex another extra two hectares. Because we've got the houses back to back and we've got eight meters between the houses, all okay. right, uh, we found that you, all, you, know, you, you always have pipes leaking, you've got to clean the filters. It's a, it's a dirty, uh, dirty uh, program. But uh, in this way, we can do things inside this place. As you can see, there's, there's nothing growing. So if it gets wet or dirty, it doesn't matter. So you're basically separating your maintenance area Except from your growing you area. Separate the maintenance area from the growing area. And your heating pipes and everything will run in the center. So it's, everything is outside of your main structures. Okay, so this back-to-back -back principle actually gives you a lot of benefits. A lot of benefits, yes. A lot of benefits. Well, our water quality is excellent. That's one of the reasons why the pads last so long. Okay. As you can see, your, you know, we've got pads already running for seven years. The top fans is more your extraction fans of your humidity. Remember, hot air rises. Those fans also in winter are fans that will come on and off in stages because we heat, heat in the winter. We okay. have to heat and, uh, and then so your hot air and humid air rises and then we use the smaller fans. The bigger fans at the bottom are used only in the day and uh, we use them when the temperature goes too high. One, of, I think one of the reasons why we also got fans is we, we uh, you can see we're in open area, so we, and we got very aggressive storms at times, so with high winds, 
So in store mode, in other words, the, the house closes down, shuts down your shutterings, your uh, wet wall curtain, and then it starts coming, the fans come on and, and suck, so to say, the plastic onto the structure. Through that, we've saved a lot of, lot of plastic. We've had a tornado going past years ago, and uh, yeah, the plastic stayed on. It went about 500 meters from the structure. So in a windy area like this, do you think you increase the lifespan of the plastic? Yes, by... yes, oh okay. yes. Yes, uh, without any doubt. For our climate, we need a humidity of about 65 to 75 relative humidity. Okay. And temperature at night down to 16 and the day up to 28, even 30. With the wet wool and the fans, we find we've got much better control over the climate. With the wet wool, you use it a lot for humidification, bring up our humidity. That helps a lot. And then, of course, the fans for the cooling. Um, inside the greenhouse it's mainly mildew and botrytis but both of them if you use the system correctly you can eliminate both of them without any chemical. Botrytis is really high humidity and cool temperature around 20 degrees. Uh, mildew is low and high. It needs low humidity to start and then okay. high, high humidity to develop. So especially for mildew we can with a wet wall we eliminate that by keeping the humidity at the correct level. I think for the plants speak for themselves, the plants look good. I think with confidence I can say that there are very few plants in South Africa that would look the way these look. And it's got to do with climate control. The circulation fans we use uh, with our sulfur burners. When we use the sulfur burners at night, the circulation fan comes on and that does have a big influence on, on the plant uh, health. So yeah, we, what we use the fans for is circulation to have a more equal temperature in the house. And secondly, you see a fan right at the back of the house which blows against the wet wall. And that is you take the hot, warmer air in the house and you blow it against the incoming air causing a mixture. Because that's the least thing, last thing you want is that you have a, a blast of cold air into your greenhouse which then causes diseases. Are you happy with the solution? Would you recommend this to similar growers? Yes, I think uh, I would recommend it because you can see it through the plants. I'm not talking myself, but my plants are talking. 